welcome back to The Buzz, brought to you by two very smart people, me and Candice, <laughs> and uh, one dopey guy. We'll make him smarter now. You can wear well, these At least he's want. hairy. He is hairy. Put them on. Put that. It's good for a few where IQ the, points. Where the hell are they from? Look, that's oh, fantastic. So smart. I've got to read tweets for these on. I'm going to look like... A, well, uh, it seems that Carbo Levita says, who's Mike... <laughs> Is doing that. And, uh, now, bring him down your nose and look over the top of the. And uh, Richard Bard said, I think Hoyt's mouse might be nibbling on the mic cable. I think they're talking about uh, the mic cable problems before, he yes. had, yes. Uh, look, uh, Henry Bean says, My manhood was once challenged by a kangaroo. If you're going to talk like that, I'm taking them off you. Stop I it. I came out victorious. Uh, and Black Dalek says, I'm a lum lumberjack and I don't care. The buzz. Oh. There you go. Really? That's the extent of our tweets tonight. And there's a couple of people impressed with uh, us using the word Gert on air. Gert. Yes. Norma and Richard, thank you. Actually, the Candace national anthem that. and it's not around enough. That, oh, oh, I see. There you go. Right, very good. Yeah. Um, all right, we've read out the tweets. We've got to say thank you to Zeta Grid again because uh, they're doing a great job in looking I after us. I love Zeta Grid more than you. Jason Zeta Grid does. Zeta .com if you want to check them out. Mm. Please do, by all means. Uh, now, Candice. Yo. Um... You got an app review here for something that I just don't understand. You're going to make a plane out of an iPhone. Not quite, but more like an airline, if oh. that makes sense. So you know, imagine that you you know you're sitting back and you really just want a really basic program, so you can play Richard Branson all day long. Well, imagine that in eight bit and a little bit crap, and and you basically got Pocket Planes. Now it's an it's an app that was developed last year. Um, I think they're deliberately going for the 8-bit eight eight -bit look for a little bit of, you know, reminiscing, a little, you know, euphoria, I don't know, all that kind of cool stuff. But it just seems confusing. It makes the icons, you know, given that planes are a fairly basic shape, all of the icons seem to have planes on them. So it's a little bit difficult to navigate at first until you get used to it. So basically, I've set up an airline here in, uh, in Australia and we are welcome to Melbourne, as you can see on the screen behind me. Let's have a look at some of the planes that we've got in. We've got a little aircraft here so we're going to use that aircraft we're going to pick up uh lauren garza who I'm needs to go to already, adelaide candace sorry we're bored this is like well, sitting in an airport lounge you've got a game it's called airport lounge where you sit there <laughs> and just wait. And look at planes and other passengers for ages all right so now we're going to send this person from Ad from melbourne to adelaide because that's just to make the game even more boring and there you go and that's basically everything that happens in at the least game. You qantas gives you an ice cream you do that over and over and over and over and over again and the goal is to try and make as much money as possible. Look, it's kind of charming, but the charm really does How, wear off after about Did you like sit through the 90-minute flight from Melbourne to Adelaide Well, on that? They, they, they do make it a little bit shorter, so it's actually only three minutes in, in the iPhone world. <laughs> really? Three minutes? Wow, wow three that minutes. great. That is terrific. So, uh, look, <laughs> what an awesome game. It, it's awesome for about 15 minutes. At least it's free, though there are some in-app purchases, though I have no idea why you'd ever want to go down that path. I'm going to give this one a buzz factor of three out of ten. Oh, it's the kind of safe oh, one you can oh, give oh, to your oh, smart oh, kids. Is one of the in-app purchases <laughs> Another game. Because <laughs> I'd be more inclined to do something like that. It is a bit meh, if I'm if I'm perfectly honest. Someone else who I find a little bit meh is Carl Stefanovic. <laughs> Look at that cat. Look at that cat. It's like Jabba the Hutt. <laughs> All right, this has been good. I look forward to catching up with you when you get to Australia, okay? I've got to go now. It's almost like the headline should be, Man Discovers Internet. Has he never seen cat videos before? Carl, watch the buzz. I, you get see more, all that read stuff. Any Do you think website, he's just grumpy maybe, cats everywhere? Maybe because he's up so early in the morning, he's just a bit delusional and <laughs> yes. just laughing at stupid stuff. Anywho, you know, on those odd occasions when you, you, you've had a spliff and you're feeling a bit, uh, bit uh, hungry, just before the buzz. That's why we yeah, ask for yeah, pizza. Yeah. That's right, because we get a little bit. Uh, Absolutely, peckish. Well, the Seattle police are doing the right thing. Community policing at its very finest. What are you talking about, Willis? Instead of Willis. arresting people for minor infractions with a substance that harms nobody, yeah. they're giving them Doritos it instead. It does harm some people, we might say. Uh, mm. Doritos instead. Okay, well, that's nice of them. Seattle police yeah. giving users of this substance 
Doritos. And it's Operation good, Orange Fingers, they called it. It's for a good cause. Hemp Fest is in Seattle. It's to encourage, uh, I guess, a greater understanding of marijuana, marijuana laws and marijuana advocacy. So the police have gone, well, look, the laws have changed. Mm. They could do this too, where they could put posters up, make television campaigns, spend millions of dollars on shit that stoners really aren't going to watch. Or what they did was open the back of the truck up, have some Doritos. And great little sticker on the back there as well, which was giving some safety tips on not driving when you've had yeah. a bit, all that kind of thing. So That's fantastic, really, How really cool good stuff. How cool would it be if you were speeding and the policeman pulls you over, gives you an ice cream, and on it's a sticker saying, please don't speed again. Yes, but you know, if you've, if you've you know, had a bit, speeding's 30 kilometres an hour. <laughs> well, I'm not talking about if you're stoned. I wouldn't encourage you to be stoned. I no, not at all, not ever. Right. Now, uh, we need to move on. Yeah. Peter She. Yeah. Now, uh, I've got something on my screen here, because this particular gentleman is a damn fool. Why? He put ten reasons why he dislikes San Francisco. He's not a fool. The guy just wrote a nice little blog about San Francisco. Wasn't that nice? No, it wasn't that nice. Well, it's smelly people on public transport. Well, and... it wasn't that nice, and then people got upset about it and, and got angry. The bottom line is, we all know when you go to San Francisco, you put a flower in your hair. Well, That's that is it. true. That's it. That's, you, that's about you all don't you do need to do did. there, really. And, of course, he's trending all over the place now because he said some nasty stuff. And people have gone out and they've put little posters up around the place saying, Peter, she is a dick, that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, move well, back to NYC. Either. Say no to tricelery.com. There you go. That's, is, that's one of the pictures we got right there. Uh, Pete, uh, Pete, once again, people are getting upset. Over very little. Yeah. So if somebody did a blog that said 10 things I don't like about Perth, yeah. including that disgusting <clears> Swan <throat> River that's all filthy. Yeah. Would you get upset? No. Candace, would you get upset? Yeah, I would. Why? Eh? Well, you, you, you can't say that. You can't say that Perth's bad. Well, you can, but you can't expect me to like it. If somebody it. said Perth's boring, they don't know how to merge, the drivers never indicate, uh, rush hour is a joke, you'd kind of go, oh, yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. I, mean, I guess if it was an ad hominem, kind of all Perth people are dumb, you might get upset. Yeah, yeah, well, of course. You know, yeah. all, all Perth coffee is bad and too expensive. It's one thing to yeah, criticise, well, right. it's another thing to hate on. Oh, well, uh, Zing! There yeah. we go. Right, uh, Candice. Yo. Um, one of my dreams is to be probed. Well, you'll be waiting a little while, but in the meantime, you can play this game called Probe the Humans. Now, it's in the same vein as a lot of the zombie kind of apps that are out there. It's a free game taking on the same model as a lot of these zombie games with a lot of in-app purchases. But on its own, it actually is quite a neat little game. Um, if you have a look, we're, we're playing the part of the alien here and three, two, one. We have to go and collect all of these coins as they start to appear. We can also collect all the little farmers. We have to avoid the houses and the fences and things like that because that means that we're going to crash. So let's see how long I get here. We can pick up all the little sheep and we can pick up the farmers. This one's actually kind of cool. Yeah, it is actually quite cool, but don't hit the houses because you'll come crashing to the ground. And in a minute, I'll, um, the next house I'll deliberately sort of crash so you can see what happens. Right. Oh. Uh, look. Yeah, look, we, we found out the men in black are there. We're broken. See, We've that earned, is far um, more enjoyable. $63. Far more enjoyable, Candice, than that stupid airline play. Absolutely. Now, both of these are featured in the new and uh, the new and noteworthy section of the App Store this week. So rather than wasting your time, I've wasted my own time with pocket hmm. planes. And I've actually looked at this one called Probe the Humans and have determined it to be worthwhile your free download. So... If, if you've got a, a little bit of time to kill, and it's the kind of game that you can pick up at any any time, um, I'd recommend it. You can get it from the App Store. I'm going to give this one a buzz factor of 7 out of 10. Now, if you took one second from every single day of your life for, me, for a year, what would it look like? Well, this is what this guy did. Jason, that's the kind of thing you would put on your Facebook page and a thousand people would like it. They'd go nuts for it. Go, oh, that's so clever, Jason. You're so intelligent finding that on Facebook. And then other people would see them post that and then want to be your Facebook friend. I'm quite enjoying the praise. Keep it, keep it coming. Yeah. But the fact is, is all of that, Jason, isn't making you happy. Well, narcissistic, I reckon, that film clip is. Well, that film clip is and... 
Facebook so it's most in of Facebook. general. And I think the feeling is with Facebook is that it's making people unhappy. There's been a story that's come out that's showing that instead of making people feel connected, they're feeling removed. Really? Candace, I know that you used to be on Facebook yeah. and you've removed yourself. I Why did. is that? And, and pretty much for this reason that, you know, you find that the relationships that you're, you know, you, it's a very superficial level of connection. You know, I'd rather people talk to me or, or, or tell me something in person rather than just write, oh, yeah, by the way, I'm engaged on Facebook and just expect me to read it. So you I actually closed your account down, didn't you? I have, yeah, for about 18 months. And I've got to admit, you know, it, there's a whole new social etiquette that goes with Facebook. There's a lot more pressure and I'm, you know, it's this whole Well, you also, relief. I mean, because, you know, you used to be on our TVs every night. Well, every almost, other night, yeah. Every weekend night. Yeah. Um, were you finding that you were copying That's a flag close. through Facebook? Yeah, my, my Facebook was locked up like Fort Knox, but it didn't stop, you know, people you know, imitating or, you know, putting up fake accounts or sending direct yeah, messages. Yeah, but most, that of us, most of us make rubbish. friends with cute girls do on you know, Facebook because we want to stalk through their photos. Do you know what a lot of celebrities oh, look, do? That, that side of it didn't bother me so much. It was more the um, the people that I really wanted to connect with. Um, I, I just wasn't getting the level of engagement that I wanted. That was very useful for keeping in touch with friends and family mm. overseas. A lot of uh, celebrities don't use their real name. Oh, oh, a lot of people just put a picture knows. of the dog up and uh, spell their name backwards or something like that. Yeah. We were talking with, yeah. with, the, with the crew here earlier on and it seems that most people actually have two accounts on Facebook. Yeah, one, one for you, one for stalking. Right. <laughs> okay. Here's the thing, I get upset when people unfriend me. And not so much people I hardly know or whatever, unfriend me, I don't care. What I don't like is people, if we've both met the same person, let's say I worked with them for six month, you, months, you met them three times, mm. they've unfriended me. I can think of people right, and they're That's still because, your friend. Because I'm hot. But you're not hot, they're not gay, and they wouldn't want to have sex with you probably. Maybe they do, but I'm just saying. And it's like, well, block. I is that, like is that what you would you do to them You show afterwards. him, Cookie. I, yeah. well, I just you don't, cookie, know. He's I don't on a, understand what it is. He's on his soapbox tonight. <laughs> yes, that's they're, what they're, they're, Don't they're unfriend they're me mate. or I get upset. <laughs> now, uh, speaking of wallies, uh, Ashton Kutcher is a bit of a wally. Check this out. The sexiest thing in the entire world is being really smart and being thoughtful and being generous. Everything else is crap, I promise you. Ah, uh, the wisdom of Ashton Kutcher. Shut up, be kind and generous, Jason. He was married to a gorgeous woman. She was gorgeous. Oh, don't say that. I've seen the pictures without makeup. She doesn't look Did very gorgeous. Did you see her in St. Elmo's Fire? No, oh. I haven't seen oh. St. Elmo's Fire. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh. oh. Never yeah. Intend to. Anyway, uh, Candace, Yo. I reckon we've probably got time for you to tell us who we should be following on Twitter. Well, with uh, Australian politics being, you know, sort of revolutionised by social media and social media playing such an important role, um, particularly with the youth vote into this election, I just thought I'd you know, brush over some of the uh, main leaders of the parties. Now, the first one is at KRUD MP. He pretty much follows everyone and most people follow him as well. So you're probably already aware of him. But he is using social media to a big advantage and does make policy announcements on there as well. So worthwhile following if you want to keep up to date. Um, his main opposition, of course, is uh, Tony Abbott. You can find him at Tony Abbott MHR. He only has around one-tenth of the followers of K-Rad and not a whole lot of engagement on the, on the personal level with people out there, though he does tend to do a bit of a Twitter back and forth with his daughter. Um, the next one is at Senator Milne, leader of the Australian Greens. Uh, not surprisingly, she tweets a lot about asylum seekers, same-sex marriage and, uh, and the environment. So they're the main three leaders to follow and we'll hopefully bring you some more political candidates next week. Oh, that'll be exciting. I love following political candidates. Oh, it's terrible, isn't it? At least our whole election campaigns here in Australia are short. We are, we're talking about yeah. a month. Look at the US, they go for a year, a year. plus. Oh, oh you just how you keep campaigning for that long. And it'd drive you nuts, but I guess it keeps them on their toes with their four-year terms. It certainly does. Uh, if you'd like to join us on The Buzz at any time, don't forget you can use hashtag The Buzz. We will read those out, as well as your Facebook posts on and our Facebook page. They'll also page. be on the screen, too. We don't need you just get them on there. You yeah, to read not? them not? Anyway, catch you later, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Hooroo.
The Buzz, Australia's only live, interactive social media program on free-to-air TV, was proudly brought to you by Zetagrid, Australia's award-winning provider of on-demand IT infrastructure for businesses that want reliability, speed and flexibility. 